welcome, Justine. Thank you, Ray. Uh, thanks for having me, Kitchen Warehouse. Sorry we're a little bit delayed. We had some technical uh, problems. Technology, it's not our favourite thing. But we are here, we're live, um, and I'm really excited to be cooking for you this afternoon from Kitchen Warehouse with the wonderful Ray. Ray is a fantastic baker. Um, you've been on the baking show. What was it, the Bake Off? The Great Australian The Great bake Australian Bake Off. Um, and I probably should have prepared some cake for you so you could judge it. Next oh time. no, next, next time. time. <laughs> next time. But today it's all about a, a few of my favourite um, appliances and uh, cookware from Tfal. At the moment they've got a beautiful set coming out. It's a 12 piece set. It's a titanium fusion set. It not only comes with two pans, pots, it also comes with a wok. A wok, can you believe it? Because <laughs> I love this wok, it actually works quite well. And a saute pan. And I thought the most appropriate dish to do for this would be a biryani because we are using the pots, pans, a lot of the different um, pots and pans to really show it off. Um, the best thing about this is that it comes in a small compact uh, set. So 12 pieces of equipment sits nicely. On top of that, it comes with the lids and it comes with two uh, plastic, I will find one for you, maybe just in this, there it is. This is awesome because say you want to cook your biryani and take it to a friend's house, you can pop this lid on, take it, it'll stay warm it. and you can take transport in the car and it just makes such a difference. So it all comes in this nifty little pack. So if you've got a small kitchen and you need space, this is the cookware for you. Um, and also it's T-Fowl quality, which is second to none. Um, and you'll see how amazing it, everything does cook. So I've been preheating, I will give you that, yes, thank you. Go. I've been preheating some oil just in my pan. And you can see that they've still got that classic, that, that patent um, T-Fowl uh, signal, the red signal there. And when it's solid red like it is now, you know that it's the optimum temperature to start grilling. So I'm gonna be doing this biryani with chicken. Not traditional, not really. I mean, usually it's done with um, some, some lamb and lamb chunks that are cooked, are in, cooked quite slowly. Um, but I'm going to do this sort of jazzy style and also doing this for, you know, a midweek dinner. You wanna yeah. do something quite quick. This is the way to do it. You'd do me a favour, sure. finally slice those for me. Uh, that's a nice clean knife there for you. Thank you. And um, just before, what we did is cooked our rice. Now, when it comes to cooking rice, we don't want to cook the rice completely because this is going to cook twice. So we're going to cook our curry. We've got our rice. That's We literally brought this to the boil, so water to the boil with some bay leaves. So I've got some bay leaves here and some cardamom. And you'd be surprised how much this flavours the rice. So once that comes to the boil with um, a little salt, then we pop our rice in, our basmati rice, that I have washed three times. You don't want to be putting your basmati rice straight in without washing it because it'll be too gluggy and starchy. We want this rice to be really beautiful and fluffy. Um, so that's what we're going to get when uh, we do uh, the blanching. So once it comes up to the, so once it goes into the water, we boil it for about two minutes and then remove it and then just let it sit there. And that's what we're going to be using uh, for the different layers. I'll just wash my hands. Yes. Please join in on the fun Absolutely. and the questions you may have. Okay. Oh, everything smells amazing. I know, it does. Clean. So a little salt. And I wanted to also say that this was actually not part of the script, but I'm just going to say it. We are going to give away uh, an eight-piece Ingenio set, so the Titanium yeah. Fusion Ingenio set. Uh, we do have, just keep an eye on what we're talking about throughout our mini um, Facebook Live here. Um, and we'll be asking one question at the end. And whoever does answer it first, wins it. So I think that's a really nice way to finish off a, a week of Sunday, isn't it? So we want to crank this up. I think this is as high as it goes. Is that correct? Yes, yes it must be. So we're just, we're actually not cooking the chicken, so to speak, um, the whole way. We just want to sort of get some colour on it. Once we get some colour, we'll take it um, off. So um, that's cooking nicely. How are your onions going? Perfect, coming Looking along. good. So we're going to chop them. You can chop them, slice them, whatever you like with that. Um, while that's happening, I'm going to switch over and talk to you about the other appliance that we're using. We're going to be using an OptiGrill Elite. Now the Tfal OptiGrill Elite, as the name says, is Elite. It's one of those smart, one of those amazing products that is so smart um, that it just takes a lot of the guesswork out of cooking, particularly for those who struggle to cook 
chunks of meat, fish, vegetables. What it does is it almost measures um, how thick the piece of protein is and cooks it to exactly how you that like it. Yeah. And the OptiGrill, um, the older OptiGrill only had six settings. This time it has 12 settings. So it cooks, it shows you how to cook chicken, fish, uh, vegetables, and not just vegetables in general, but it'll go into detail, say uh, capsicum, uh, eggplant. It also has an automatic searing, searing mode, so you get that really, really high heat, so you get those beautiful grill marks. So I'm gonna be cooking some tacos. I love tacos. So you wanna get yourself really small taco shells, just like this, taco shells, tortillas, just like this. This is like the perfect handful. So just get the real traditional ones, just like this. And I've got some swordfish. Now, I love my swordfish. It's really meaty, it's steaky. And I thought it's the perfect example to show off the OptiGrill Elite because it is quite thick. We want it to be just cooked in the center and you'll see that it does this quite beautifully. So a bit of pepper and salt on each piece of fish. And you can change up the fish. If you like, you could use something a little more delicate, like um, you could use some uh, flathead fillets, you could use some cod if you like. Uh, you could even use some salmon, works to treat nicely. So, generous amount of salt. I'm going to add some Perfect. olive oil. I'll get out of here. No, that's fine, thank you. Lucky you're here, Ray, because you can do all my chopping. No worries. <laughs> um, what I'll get you to do is get uh, another pot, maybe uh, the Ingenio sure. pot over here. Yep. And we're going to be adding some things to that. I'm just going to turn this chicken. Okay, so we've got a little bit of colour. Like I said, it doesn't need to be cooked all the way. I'm going to try to get a bit more heat on here. Um, and I should mention also the Ingenio set also, um, it goes on induction and it also goes on a, a, a stove top too. So gas or induction, it works a treat. Okay, so I'm going to take these out. Just pop them over here. Can you do that one just Fantastic. Oh, I'll just take that there. That there. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're just going to go. I'm going to add some more chicken. And what I'll get you to do, Ray, please, sure. is to grab these chilies and cut them. And that's a lot of chilies, I that's know. A lot of chilies. But these are long chilies. They're actually oh. not that hot. Um, they're not, I promise you, you'll love it because we're going to make this delicious sauce to go with our, um, our swordfish and it's got, it's, it's got ginger, it's got chilli, it's got beautiful, you need really, really good quality oil, it does make a difference to this, uh, lemon, um, all sorts of yummy things, we're going to blend that up and it's going to go fantastically with our, um, our tacos. So we're going to sit it off. Sorry. What's that? Okay, well, I'm going to keep going. I'm not too sure what's going on, but we're just going to keep going. Technical difficulties. Look, you know, this is what happens with live. You know, there's technical, but don't worry because we've got all the recipes. So I hope, I hope it's still going. Yes, it's all good, guys. You can head over to our blog kitchenwarehouse.com.au and you can have a look at our recipes and I'm sure you'll be able to watch this after the live if you've missed anything. I'm sure you will. Um, if Justine, did you like this? Yes, please. Slice finely. So, no, we're just going to do them really roughly. So, take the tops off and yes. just cut them into little buttons. Okay, Thank perfect. you. Yeah. And are the seeds not... Well, added? yeah, you know, there is a little bit of heat in the seeds, but... Yes. This is one of those sauces that's zingy, it's tangy, it's sweet. It's got so much going on um, and you do want the heat to, and it's going to balance out with that beautiful oil that we're going to be using. So I'm going to be using a, one of these pots and I'm going to get you to pop that straight in there, please, Ray. Um, I'm going to move this over. Uh, yep, just in a moment. So I'm just going to move this pot. And so this is the beautiful thing about Ingenio pans. It's this handle, this amazing handle that is your friend in the kitchen, if you like, because you can take it from one pan to the other and it comes off quite neatly. And the best thing is if you're wanting to put something in the oven, so I'm going to be cooking this biryani in the oven later, it almost acts as a mitt. So you take it, you pop it into the oven. Of course, this does not go into the oven. Um, but when you want to take it out, you don't have a hot... Uh, handle and for me cooking in the kitchen I've got no. 
scars everywhere because you know naturally your natural instinct is if you don't cover the, the handle where you want to grab it and ah you burn yourself so it's a safety thing um, and it does work really well um, for that so I'm going to move this one that's finished that's my favorite feature the handles I know it is so we're going to add this to uh, the Perfect. pot only and then into that I'd love you to um, uh, four cloves of garlic, so lots of garlic for this. It's almost like a piri piri sauce. Um, and we can add one of these too. So we'll just cut that roughly. This is all going to be blended, so it doesn't need to be perfectly oh, chopped either. Okay, you just perfect. throw it all in and it works a treat. Um, onto my swordfish, I'm going to be adding some, uh, we've got some beautiful oregano, so some dried oregano. And I've got some smoked paprika that I'm going to be adding. So this is the sauce that goes with our beautiful fish that I'm going to cook soon in our Opti Grill Elite. So we're going to add some beautiful smoked paprika and I'm being generous with all of this. I'm going to turn the heat on. I'm getting used to this stove top. You're getting used to it. That's good. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> Smelling amazing. Okay, paprika great. And I've got in. some good quality extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be using it too. So I've measured that bit out and I've also got some more that I'm going to use. So fresh olive oil as we blend it. Uh, so yep, that goes in there. And then cloves of garlic. Oh, I've got it over here. I'll get you. I love my garlic. So lots of garlic. Yeah, I think God, we're going to summer. I'm in Brisbane now and it is hot. I'm still acclimatizing to the heat. But you want really fresh flavors. And that's why I love these fish tacos because they're clean, fresh, Beautiful hot spices, um, lots of herbs. Uh, this is what you really want in summer. You don't want anything too heavy. And even the biryani is quite light, especially if you serve it with some yogurt, um, and some beautiful chutneys. And I'm going to really bulk it out by adding some spinach to it too. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. So a few cloves of garlic. So we've got our fish marinating over here, which has, I'll just recap, just oil, salt, pepper, and we've got some oregano. I'm going to add some lemon zest to this too. Oh, the How good is it? Yum. And these are fantastic. If you haven't got a microplane, get yourself a microplane. And I think kitchen warehouse, you guys have a kitchen warehouse. You've got these here, don't you? Perfect. So these are such a great little thing to have in the kitchen. They don't go blunt unless you put it in the dishwasher. Then no. So don't, like your knives, you've got good quality knives, good quality pans. I always say don't overuse your dishwasher. I may say, though, all of these pans do go in the dishwasher, but still, because they are my, my little babies, I prefer, because they are non-stick, it's just so easy just to wash up by yourself. But again, like I said, you can do it in, in the dishwasher if you like. Okay, that chicken is good. We're going to pop that into the pan. Into... So guys, join in on the fun and feel free to ask any questions you may have to Justine and our lovely Tifal expert. I'm sure they'll be delighted to answer them for you. Absolutely. I love questions. Uh, so a bit more oil in there and we're going to take So Justine, sorry onions. to bother you. One little question from <gasps> someone. You could never bother me, Ray. <laughs> Is it okay to use chicken instead of the fish for the tacos? Uh, yes, of course. Yes, if you don't like fish, uh, by all means, you could use um, any uh, chicken, absolutely, chicken tacos, you could use some pork tacos, uh, you name it, um, and the sauce goes with the whole lot, so definitely um, you can change it up. If you wanted to make it vegetarian, I've done That'd this, yeah, this is delicious with um, some bro broccoli or cauliflower. So you almost cut big chunks like steaks of cauliflower and then pop them onto the OptiGrill Elite and it works a treat. It grills it so you've got that beautiful charred mark. It, it really fantastic way um, of alternating if you're eating too much meat or fish. Having a vegetarian option yes. is fantastic oh, and yeah. cauliflower works a treat, even mushrooms. Um, the, the list is endless on what you could use. So now I'm just um, sauteing off our onions. Okay, and again, Always season as you go. So some salt onto the onions. Okay. I think do you, a bit slow the stove top. We'll just go, we'll be patient with it. We'll just leave it there for a moment. Um, ginger. Ginger. We need lots of ginger lots for of this. Ginger. Um, a little trick with ginger to take the skins off. I'll just get myself a spoon. And we're just going to grate it off. So if you can come in and have a look at this, this is a really great way of getting um, the thin film 
of um, skin off without taking away a lot of the flesh. So by doing this, we're not wasting, because ginger, you know, it's not cheap. So you'd want to make sure that you're not wasting any of it. And this is the best way to do it. So, it's so clever. Yeah, it's so easy to do, just like that. So I'll get rid of that. And just with a microplane, I'm going to just mince some of this. And this is going to go in with our onions. And then the rest of it, I'm going to use in our delicious chili sauce that's going to go with our fish tacos. Oh, so smells along. good, doesn't it? And it's, it's bubbling. Amazing. Great, look at oh, that. I wish you guys could smell it. <laughs> that is fabulous. All right, I'm going to give you. Yum. Some ginger for that. Okay, in it goes. And I should give you a handle. Perfect, thank you. There the we paprika go. really adds to that. It does, well. it does, Beautiful. yep. And I'm going to add just a little bit more oil. Get that lid off. Muscles! Do you need a hand? <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> I've probably got something. Oh, got it. I got it, Ray, I got it. <laughs> oh. All right. I don't have it. <laughs> Let me have a go. Let All right, go. Ray, go on, go on. <laughs> okay, so that's bubbling away there. I have. Oh, <laughs> what would I do without her? <laughs> so, a good glug of oil in there. Beautiful. We won't put the lid back on. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to add some vinegar. So, just some good old, just white vinegar. That's going to balance it out. And speaking of balancing, if you're going to add some acid like that, you need some sugar. So we're going to add some cast sugar. Oh, and crazy. I haven't added any salt yet, so we'll do some salt. Okay. And we just want to cook this. This is almost confiting it down. So we're just going to slowly, gently, evenly cook this um, so it softens. Okay. So while those onions are cooking away, we've got our chicken almost ready, we've got the rice ready, we can start warming up our Opti Grill Elite. So I'm just gonna come over here, we're gonna turn it on. Okay, I'm just gonna take this out, ready to go. Um, and we'll turn it on. Hello, there we go. So I just want you to see, um, all the different functions that we have here. And you can see how beautiful uh, the front of it is and how e seamlessly and easily you can scroll through it. So it had, um, we just went through a beef, you've got burgers, you've got sausages. I've done sausages recently on this with another Facebook Live and it worked so well. We did sort of grilled vegetables, turn that into a salad. So you sort of think outside the square. There are so many different things you can do with your grill. And if you've got a smaller place and you don't have a barbecue outside, bring the barbecue inside because you're going to get those fantastic results with this Opti Grill Elite. It really is um, such a nifty little thing. It's one of my favorite toys at the moment. So paninis, of course. So like I was saying, the Opti Grill, um, the classic Opti Grill came with six functions. This one comes with 12 um, fish and that's what we're going to be using. Um, chicken, chicken breast, chicken seafood, so, sorry, seafood. So if you want to do beautiful big prawns, you could do that. Uh, bacon, yum, potatoes, and then it goes into all the vegetables. So um, tomatoes, and then the manual mode is also a really important one to know too. So if you wanted that flexibility of checking the meat or checking the vegetables, you can go straight um, to manual mode. Um, and then the searing mode too is, is fantastic. So we're just gonna go back. I'm going to fish today. Um, and here it is. And we're going to preheat. So we're going to press okay. And you'll see it says preheating progress. So it's just seamless in the way um, that you use it. There's just takes all the guesswork out. It's just making cooking simpler for you in the kitchen. Great. Okay, so while that's happening, I should take a few of these gorgeous coriander roots. I've given these a really good wash. You know, sometimes they hold quite a lot of dirt and I'm just gonna roughly chop them. I'll just get 20 minutes in. We are, okay, great. We're going to just cut these up and we're going to add that straight to our beautiful sauce here that's bubbling away. I'm going to turn that down now because when you're confiting something like this, you don't want it to be too hot because we're going to lose the beautiful flavours of the oil. We just want to gently cook. So see how that's bubbling? I'm going to turn it down to about three and let that cook. Okay, so, you know, if I had time 
permitting, I would allow that to cook a little longer, but for now we're gonna go with it. Use a really good quality uh, curry paste for this. You can absolutely make it yourself. I've actually made it myself. I've got all the ingredients to make. This is onions, ginger, garlic, chili, uh, cumin, uh, whole coriander, um, and a few other ingredients. So you could do it yourself or you can make, or you could buy a really good quality one. In my recipe, I say just buy a good quality madras um, curry paste, but you could use whatever you like, um, depending on, on your what you like to, to eat. But what you do want to make sure, you do want to cook it off because it's all raw ingredients, right? So we want to cook that off. Get this quite hot. Maybe this one's hotter. We're going to do a switcheroonie. Oh no, it's on. Actually, I know that for you. You're the, uh, you're the uh, cooktop no. whisperer. <laughs> yes, definitely not. She is, she is. <laughs> And you can already smell the aroma you of can. this. So That's you do want to cook off the raw. Um, I've done this with, I mean, again, this is not traditional at all, but I've done it with um, a beautiful buttered chicken curry paste. Um, you can do korma. There are so many different options. You could even change this up and use um, not chicken. You could use fish for this. I've done a, a fish biryani. It's actually in my cookbook. Um, and that works really nicely too. Lovely. So it's really versatile. Exactly. It's really versatile. Um, so back to here. Again, as I mentioned, that's a quick tip for the giveaway that we're doing. There are 12 functions, not six, on the new OptiGrill Elite. Hint, hint, hint. Hint, hint. Making it really difficult for everyone out there, <laughs> aren't I? <laughs> okay. So you know what we can do? We can actually add the chicken back into here. And then we're going to add some crushed tomato. So I want to make this quite saucy because I want all the rice to absorb all the lovely flavours of this biryani. So in that goes, we'll just give that a toss. Okay. Um, and we'll add half of that, please. While this is warming up, see how it says wait? I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. So I want to warm up my tortillas. So you don't um, you want to cook them for about a minute on each side. Um, and I'm not going to, to put the, the lid down because I don't want to get grill marks on this. I just want to warm them up. And then I'm going to pop them into a tea towel to keep warm as we cook our fish. I don't want to cook them on the OptiGrill Elite um, after I've cooked the fish because, well, obviously it's going to be a little bit dirty with fish. So we want to keep it nice and neat. So I'm just going to pop them on. And it is screaming hot. So they really only need a few seconds on each side to warm up. We've got a clean tea towel, fantastic. And I'll add two more. And already, see they're warm, so we're just warming them up. Lovely soft flour tortillas, but you could use corn tortillas for this too. Um, the corn tortillas are gluten-free, so you could make this beautiful gluten-free dinner if you like to. Many, many options, Ray. <laughs> so clean tea towel. It's smelling nice. Oh, that looks oh, great. Goodness. So we're going to add some uh, salt now. And what I'll get you to do is add some coconut milk. Okay. And the coconut milk is just going to give it a lovely creamy flavour. So loads of salt. Don't be shy. You want to flavour it, especially with curries. I always find sometimes curries can be under-seasoned. Because of those spices, you need to accentuate it. You really need to add um, that salt. So it really brings out each individual spice flavour. So please don't be stingy on the salt. <laughs> All right, these, oh, these are lovely and warm. So into a clean tea towel. We'll close that so it can continue to heat up. Close that and our tortillas are ready. Um, some of the garnishes that are going to go onto this, uh, some cabbage, but you could use some lettuce if you like. Uh, we've also got some uh, um, Lettuce leaves, we said lettuce leaves. Uh, this is just a beautiful little sugar loaf. I love the crunchiness of it. So we're just going to get a knife. Uh, yeah, perfect. Yep. And you want to shred this, so nice and fine. And the colour is coming along beautifully on our chicken. Oh, that looks good. And essentially that chicken's like almost cooked. And it doesn't matter if it's just a little under because we're going to be cooking it for another 30 minutes in the oven. So it's all about just, just getting things almost ready. And you can see this is taking us no time at all to do. Um, so sh uh, shred this as fine as you can. How's that looking? Oh, it's good, isn't it? Amazing. Oh, the chili. Beautiful. OK. 
Okay, I'm happy with that. So that can go in there. And we'll just pop that over here too. I'm gonna turn our little board around. It's a great little board, both, both sides, little grip. Um, what I'm gonna get you to do, Ray, is just finely chop me some parsley, please, sure. and some coriander, and that's gonna be a little garnish on top. So I'll as fine as you can get it, that'll be great. Get rid of these. And that's bubbling away on a high heat. We'll get that really hot. Okay, have we got any questions that's so far? I think everyone just wishes they could get the <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Okay. This is Justine. Could you please recommend a food processor that you and boots as well? Yes, good question. So for those who, who didn't hear that, it's what uh, suggests a food processor that needs cooks also and for me that's the cuisine companion tfal cuisine companion is just like again my favorite i have a lot of favorite toys in the kitchen but it really is because it just instead of having a blender and a food processor and a handheld um mixer and a handheld oh there we go we're ready to go In insert your food so it's ready to go so we're just going to grab our fish i'm going to pop that on there i'll put this on and we'll continue on with that so on it goes and the grills here, non-stick too. You'll also see, I don't know if you can see from there, but it's also got these little nodules and that almost is like a little grip because it is so non-stick, you need it for the fish to grip onto. This last little one, I'll pop that there. I'm gonna pop that down. And now what you can see, see how it says thick, thickness calculation. And this is the best because it actually is trying to find out how thick it is to cook it perfectly. So you can forget about it and it'll tell you when it's cooked. And we're going to get those beautiful char marks on the fish. And okay. The nonstick surface, it's so easy to clean. I can't believe exactly. How easy that is. Yeah, and it is. And there's literally two little buttons on the side. Once it's cooled down, they just got, you can take them out, and I just rinse them out. You can put them in the dishwasher, but I don't even do that because the plates come out, and you just wipe it off. It's so easy to do. Um, back to that other question, the cuisine companion. We're saying it kneading and all that. It does the whole lot and cook. I make. My favourite hollandaise or bernaise sauce is so easy to make in the, in the Cuisine yeah. Companion uh, because, again, it's that beautiful even heat and you've got a, um, a, a whisk or a mixer in there so it's constantly turning around. Fantastic polenta risotto, again, because it has a whisk attachment to it. So it's not only, it's doing the stirring and cooking for you all at the same time. Um, okay, so this sauce is ready. I'm going to blend that in a moment, but before we do that, we can probably start our biryani. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to get the saute pan. So this is the saute pan um, is that perfect size for the biryani. It's got nice high sides. You can cook this biryani on the stove top, but I really wanted to demonstrate that you can cook um, with the Ingenio set in the oven too. Um, and that's what makes it amazing. So we're going to add half of this. I'm going to get, do you have a large, large spoon yes, at all? I'll find that for you. Yes, that would be great. This curry smells great. Cut that off. Um, Diane's asked if the recipe will be online. Yes, it will be online. Um, you can go to Kitchen Warehouse. Um, they've got it on their blog. Um, so the recipes are already up there now for you to follow along to. Um, and if you have any questions about that, please shout out. Now, these are just little salad onions. Uh, I like to use these because they're not as potent and strong as just a classic brown onion. Um, so they're quite sweet. So I'm gonna add a few little rings of that to our tacos. Okay, and you see I've just cut them slight and you can see how round they are. So look at that. It's just like a beautiful little presentation when you cut them. You've got the little circles, so quite cute. So we'll just pop that. Oh, look at that. That's just why we like to do our demos at Kitchen Warehouse because if you don't have one, you just pop. <laughs> we just go take it straight. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm like, ooh, I love all the little things here. Fantastic. And with onions, if they are too harsh, to mellow the whole thing down. It's as simple as grabbing yourself uh, some salt. Sorry to lean over you, Ray. It's okay. And I just know that one. a little salt and just bruise it with your fingers like this and it'll make them sweeter. That's a great tip. Oh, 
Oh, we can just turn it completely off if you like. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So now we're just going to grab half of this, okay? And more of the sauce. I want a lot of the sauce on the base. Um, think of it as if you were building a lasagna. Um, so we want the meat first, and then we're going to go our sauce, and then we're going to add our rice. Uh, wherever, I'm not sure where we put our rice. Okay. So lots of sauce, and a traditional biryani is actually quite dry, um, but not mine. Mine's going to be lots, it's going to be quite saucy, and that's the way I like to make mine. Okay. Yes. Knives, yes. Um, look, at home I love to use a combination. I use sometimes shun. And I also use um, global too, so I, I chop and change between those those two knives. I do I do love a, a good quality knife and protect them. And if there's one thing you take out of when it comes to knives, please, please, please don't put them in the dishwasher. Yes, it's one of those things. As soon as you put it in the dishwasher, it will never be the same again. So always just hand wash it. Okay, so this is our rice that's been blanched. Essentially, we cooked it for a minute maximum in that rapidly boiling water and the smell of the cardamoms that we've added. So I've still got them and I'm gonna put them on the top to present it. So we're gonna take them out just to reserve and we're going to add, I'm just gonna put that there for a moment. Sure. We're going to add half of our rice. I'm actually gonna add a bit more chicken to this. It's looking good. So we'll just sprinkle it over the top like so. And again, only half of the rice. And it'll be like, oh, that's not enough rice, but it's only half cooked. So once it starts to steam in the oven and we're gonna pop, you know, the, the T-Fowl um, airtight lid on top of it. So it's going to really steam nicely in there and stay quite moist. Okay, that's great. And now I'm just going to add the rest of my chicken curry. And look at that, you see how it's non-stick? So it just falls off. And that's why I don't even put it in the dishwasher. It's just easy rinse, easy just a little rinse. soap, and that's done. I'm going to take, oh, actually, I will leave that on for you because that's hot to take away. And then we're going to spread it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It looks great. Okay. And now we can add the rest of our rice. Okay. Just like that. And I, I really do recommend, you know, using your clean hands for this because by doing that, you can really spreading it out all the way to the end and fluffing it up so it's not clustering or clumping. Thank you. Okay, and then we'll just add a little bay leaves on the top. And you can serve this with some chutney, if you like, or you can put it inside. And this is what I like to do. I like to just sort of get little dollops of classic just mango chutney and just drizzle it over the top, just like this, just in the nooks and crannies. It's lovely. Just have you like I've that? I've that. I've never. So now I've learned I something. I thought you'd like that. Yummy. Well, I just lovely. like it. It's, it's definitely not traditional. I'm so sorry. But um, I just like that little pop of sweetness yes, as it definitely. steams. Yeah. Oh, and I you can use it. all different types. Sometimes I use a, um, a spicy mango chutney or a lime a chutney. Relish lime this. Lovely. I'm just going to grab uh, some paper. Mm. Yes. Uh, you can, but I usually prefer to use plastic. It just makes so much, just you protect it. It's your love. So, yes. you know, definitely use plastic. Um, I did, we did use a little metal one there, but we shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> and wooden spoons, good old wooden spoons. Yes. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to add to this is I have some paper, some baking paper and some foil hiding somewhere. Okay, it does not, uh, here it is. Take it. And what we do is add our foil and baking paper. So we want to double whammy, so we just press that down onto it. Lid on, and you can see it's like a lovely lid that sits seamlessly on that. We're going to get a handle into the oven and we'll let that cook for about oh, I'd say 25 minutes max if you want to you can get ahead of time you can pop that um, into the fridge now 
and then pop it into the oven, bring it back to room temperature, into the oven when you've got your guests coming over, you've got friends coming over. It's just a really easy meal to get ready. Don't put the handle in the oven, please. Uh, just take it off. Oh, I always do the whole click, 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 click in my head. And once you get through that rhythm, you'll understand how easy it is to manoeuvre around the kitchen. So it's a real fantastic little appliance. Oh, gee, I've made a mess, haven't I? That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> One thing I did forget in my biryani, so after your chicken is, is bubbling away and it's almost cooked, turn the heat off and add really two big bunches of um, gorgeous spinach. That not only bulks it out, but you also get your veggies so you can hide your veggies in there. So I really love um, adding that to it. So we'll just add that to the side. Okay, fish is cooking away um, four minutes. So you've even got a countdown to, to when it's, once it's actually measured how thick it is, um, it then does a countdown to medium. And if you wanted to change that to, to rare, you could do that or medium or, or a bit more, you can do that too. It'll just see, there's three little sections there that tells you it's gonna to go to medium, then it'll go a little further. So you can still dictate how you want the cooking done okay. of your meat. So while that's happening, I am going to blend up our gorgeous sauce. So we'll just take this over here. I'm gonna grab a spoon, the spoon's clean. And we'll pop that into our blender. Okay. Lid on. a delicious ginger garlic chili sauce it's still warm yummo but you can definitely pop that into um, a nice clean jar into the fridge and that'll last for weeks because it's just olive oil and ginger and garlic nice airtight clean sterilized and oh, smell that oh mm. isn't it nice dive into it. yeah oh that's it, you, it's so nice it really is a yummy one I'm just gonna have a little taste with a spoon just to make sure the seasonings correct Mmm, really yum. Mm. Yeah. It's got a kick and to it. Yeah, but it's like, oh, it's hot. But by the time you add it with the mayonnaise, one thing I have forgotten is a lime. I'm going to use my zester. I'm going to add the zest of the lime. And do we have a little bowl I could maybe put yes. this in? And just. Oh. The so flavour on the palate is just It's nice. Do you like I spicy food, right? I do enjoy yeah. a good hint yeah. of spice. Yes, questions. This one's from Lauren. Mm -hmm. uh, she says, do you use the fish setting for salmon, please? I'm finding I'm overcooking my salmon every time with my octagula leaf. Is there a secret? Yes, so the good question is salmon, can you cook salmon with the fish, with the fish um, uh, setting? You can absolutely do that. But if you're finding, so the setting tries to calculate the perfect um, cuisson, we call it, um, of the fish. And if you're finding that it's a little bit overcooked, it may be because your fish is, um, you know, not at the right temperature. So it might be too hot or too cold when it's come out of the fridge. Um, and that's fine. If you want to not, if you don't want it to, to cook at the right set of, of the specific setting, you can just change over to manual setting and cook it to the way you like it, if you like it a little more rare. So definitely um, become friends with the manual setting too, so you can cook it exactly how you like it. Um, that's the best way I, I would say to get around that. Okay, good squeeze of lime in there. Get rid of that. The bing, thank you. We'll just mix that up and spoon. And we'll just pop that into a bowl ready to go. Okay. Okay. Get rid of oh, that. Thank, thank you. you. So we've got our tortillas that are warmed up. We've got some fresh herbs to add to the top. And look at that. Our fish is cooked perfectly at medium. 
So the fish is ready to go. I'm going to get a little plate for that. We've got two plates there coming. Keep that. Thank you. This. Okay. So to plate this up, I just want to show you Look how beautiful this fish is. See there's beautiful grill marks on there. So we're gonna take that out. Really happy with the way that looks. And it's so soft. I just love swordfish. Now I'm gonna be breaking this up so you can break it up on the plate. And in actual fact, I wanna show you how perfectly cooked this is. I'll just take. Such even cooking, Justine. Absolutely. Look how it crumbles away. This is what we want. See how moist and tender that is? Oh, love it. Look at that one. Okay. So, you know, this is what I love about tacos. You know, you bring it to the table um, and you just pop that so everyone can just rip um, the bits and pieces, bit, rip the fish up, Snap. pop it into the tacos. So the way I build it, we'll get our warm tacos. Get rid of that. And we'll pop them onto our plate. Okay, some mayonnaise. I'm just using some QP mayonnaise, but you could use some homemade mayonnaise if you like. Okay, so that goes down first. Spoon. Oh, too fast. <laughs> I'm going to add a small amount of our lovely chili ginger sauce now and we'll add some more to the top of it in a sec depending on how hot you want it so you <laughs> i'm going to take some of these lovely chunks of swordfish and we'll just pop that on there like so hot 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 So easy to put together. So easy to put together. And again, so versatile. Yeah. You can add any vegetables. Or and you know, the, the fish, we were talking about salmon before. You could absolutely use salmon. Um, you could even use some prawns, Balmain bugs. Morton, we call them up here, Morton Bay bugs. Morton Bay bugs. <laughs> for bugs. How about barramundi? Oh, our local. absolutely. Barramundi Mandy. works a treat. Yep, fantastic. Uh, some more sauce because I like it hot. Looks amazing already. Yum a little bit of herbs. Yes, so we can go herbs. I'm going to add a little bit of our, our cabbage over the top. So a small amount of cabbage. I mean, for me, this is summer eating, right? Just Absolutely. Clean flavours, fresh fish. Some of those gorgeous onion rings. So we'll just pop them over the top like so. Okay, and finally, beautifully chopped herbs by Ray. Pop them on top. The easiest part. <laughs> the easiest part. No, 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 it's not. Get them right. And that's it. And you can serve it like that or, you know, with tacos, you can kind of lean them on each other. So if you want to, you could just sort of twist that on top like that. And this one can go over here. So they're sort of sitting on each other. Okay. Move that one there. Now I'm being pedantic, can't I? Yeah, <laughs> so, yep, absolutely. That would be great if you could do that. And you can add some more sauce to the side. Beautiful, right? Eh? And then finally, a biryani. Um, not traditional. But it is really delicious. You can see how fluffy the rice is. It's not stodgy. Um, it's really separated nicely. It smells fantastic. And Ray, I think we should have a try I after think. all our efforts today. It smells one good One plate to for visit. you, one plate for me. We'll get one of these spoons and we'll just break into that. Look at that. See how it's absorbed all of that beautiful sauce and the chicken's there. It's fantastic. And some for me. Bon appétit, bon Ray. Bon appétit, thank you. you it try. It and looks so, so good. Mm. 
Mm. You know, I'd say it's better than the original one. I have to agree. Oh. The flavor is amazing <laughs> and the spices come through mm. beautifully, just mm. the right amount of chili. Yep. And that basmati rice, I love it. I love it too. Absolutely love you, Justine. So I can't good. believe you did it in such a short period of time. <laughs> we did. Wow. It's because I have fantastic help from you, Ray. So thank you so thank much you for that. Too so amazing. I uh, know. And two simple recipes done. Um, in two different ways, using cookware and also uh, appliances. So the OptiGrill Elite cooking, our gorgeous fish tacos, and the Ingenio Titanium Fusion cooking, a delicious biryani. We used three different pots in the range of 12. Um, it just shows how versatile it really can be um, and how much you can cook. And the best thing is it's so compact, so you don't need so much space um, to put it. Now, for the winner... The question is, and whoever uh, we see in the feed that puts the first answer there, that's correct, will win our eight-piece um, Ingenio Titanium Fusion range. The question is, but it's not about Ingenio, the question is about OptiGrill Elite. How many different functions does it have? So how many different functions does it have? I did make it very obvious <laughs> later on. Don't we, who? Donna. Donna Bennett, that's it. You've won. Yay! Yay. Fantastic. Well done, Donna. You'll really love it, Donna. Like they have, uh, it's a really good range. Um, and for those who missed out, don't worry. You can pick up your range um, at Kitchen, Kitchen Warehouse. Warehouse. Um, I think that's it. I think that's we've done a great fantastic. job. Yes. And now we can tuck into the taco. I know we can tuck into the taco. The spicy tacos. I think everyone behind the scenes also is looking forward to some tacos. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you at the next Facebook Live. Again, apologies for all the technical difficulties that we had, but we got there finally. Awesome. Thank you, Justine. Bye, guys. It's been a pleasure having you.